Yeah, welcome back traders. This is Poppy GFS. So we'll be talking about another important concept in our technical analysis. So the last time we talked about the trend, how we can identify trend and all. So now we are moving to the next concept, which is support and resistance. So according to our outline, let's um, let's take a peek at the outline. Okay, yeah, this is the outline here. So. We've talked about what is the trend. So the next thing we're talking about now is support and resistance, and now we can draw support and resistance and trade with it. So then we'll talk about price action. So but for now, let's quickly talk about the support and resistance. So now when we talk about support and resistance, now this is one of the ancient method of trading in the forex market. In fact, it has been for a very long time. Now forex traders believe, or it is believed that in the market, in an area or a zone. Where price reverses and starts coming down, okay, the the um, we actually call that kind of area resistance. So now, for better understanding and for better um explanation, we always tend to use a, a layman's explanation, saying a resistance is like a ceiling. You understand? That means if you throw something to the ceiling, when that thing when we are throwing a ball, when the ball gets to the ceiling, obviously it's going to drop from that ceiling. So in that case, the resistance is like a ceiling that makes price come down okay while a support in this case is like a floor that means a floor that, that bounces price to go back up okay so now the resistance and support that we're talking about now how do we trade it or how do we even you know how do we even trade with it now the idea is that once you see a zone in the market that or a, a particular zone that can be identified with maybe two or or, or more touches maybe Looking at this one now, this is a zone here. Yeah, the price go to a, this high. It was initially coming up, but it got to this point and price went down. Now, price went back to that same point again and then still went down again. Meaning, there is a zone here, like a resistance here, that is pushing price to go down. Now, we as forest traders, okay, we are going to be anticipating price to come back to that zone. That if price should come back to that same zone, the third time, okay, we are expecting that price to also what continue pushing down again. Does that make sense? So we have seen price reversing in this zone the first time, the second time, to so the third time. We expect price to do the same the third time as well. So that third time is when we'll be trading. Meaning when you have marked out your resistance, that you're able to spot a resistance. When price gets back to that resistance, you are going to be selling from there. Okay, so this is how we approach it. In this case, we will sell from here. Exactly. Then now, where do we put our stop loss? Our stop loss should be kept above the resistance. So that's how it's been traded. Our stop loss is being kept above the resistance. Now, in this section, we'll be introducing you to how the the long and short indica um not indicator the the, the the objects here. Okay, the long position and short position. I will introduce you here now on our trading view platform. So now, the long um, the long one is like this. When you want to buy on your trading view, you are trying to make analysis, okay? You can actually use this one. Now, you are not using this one to buy, but it's like a kind of object, like I said, like a tool that you can actually use it to, to know where your stop loss is and know all of those things, your stop loss, your take profit, where they where they are and you know where they where, where you can put it, how you can easily see your risk to reward, the amount of profit you are targeting, the amount of stop loss you'll be using, and all of those things. Now, stop loss is not a thing that you choose. You don't just choose, let me say, I'll use 10 pip stop loss on this trade. I'll use 5 pip stop loss on this trade. Okay? Stop loss is actually placed at areas of invalidation. Now, what do I mean by areas of invalidation? In this case now, when we expect price to come back to this resistance here, we don't expect price to go above this resistance. Okay? We are expecting price to come back to this resistance and start going down. Okay, meaning if price now tries to go against us, okay, in that case, if price tries to break out because price is going up now, and we're expecting price to come down from here, okay. But in the case of my price now tries to go up against us, that is where we'll be putting our stop loss. And the way the, the most logical place to put that stop loss is going to be above this resistance here, okay. So when you are trading resistance or support, you are putting your stop loss above the resistance zone okay so in that case let's let, let's use that, let's use that to here we are going to be taking a sell which is a short position so in that case that's when you'll be putting maybe your 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 objects here this short position objects here so you can now put the stop loss like i said above the resistance so it can be 
perfectly above that resistance, so you can just leave some maybe some clear. <coughs> Sorry about that. Or you can you can give some clearance, okay? And then you target maybe the recent low. That means this recent point here, or you can target lower or whatever, depending on your risk to reward that you are targeting. Okay, you know that the normal risk to reward for a retail trader, the minimum risk to reward for a retail trader is one ratio three. Now, in this case, you can see here we have a risk to reward ratio of 4.75. Okay, now the 4.75 means if I'm risking 1% on this trade, I'll be making 4.575%. If I make 2% um, risk, then that means I'll be getting like 9% profit on that trade. Okay, so now that is where you'll be taking your trade. Now, understanding this thing here, this is your entry here, and this is your stop loss here. So, in this case, your take profit is around this point because you are taking a sell. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, that's how you actually trade with the support and the resistance. Now, this is for the resistance. Now, let's talk about the support. Like I said, the support is like a floor that pushes price up. Okay, so a zone that we have seen that price go to that zone. Maybe we have two times price go to that zone and price was going up from there. We can now mark that zone as our support zone. Okay, that means the third time now that price is coming to that kind of zone, we'll be anticipating for price to start going up from there. Is that understood now? In that case, so what we do right now is that we are taking a long position, meaning when price gets to the support the third time, we are going to be taking our long. Of course, our stop loss will be below. We are putting our stop loss below the support. You understand? Because we don't expect price to go below that support zone. But in case price now starts going or tends to want to go against us, that's where our stop loss will be there to protect us. Okay? So that's it. That's just the idea of stop loss. So you can put your profit at this high. Do you get so that's how you use and trade with support and resistance. It's a very, very simple and very popular concept that we use on trading. And of course, one other thing again that I will also tell you about it is that it is not becoming obsolete. That means it is not becoming a thing of the past. You know, there are different methods of trading that are coming up now and a lot a lot of things are just coming up now. So I'll, I'll also show you about those ones also. Now, the support and resistance does not really have to be two points or maybe three points. Sometimes it can be three points, you know. It can be a little bit. The idea behind is that it is like a barrier pushing price down, which is for the resistance. What sounds like a, a, it's like a kind of flow pushing price up, okay? So in this case now, what we are doing here now is that we are just trying to look out for a zone where price has been reversing down and we are trying to trade from there. Now, we also have some zones like this. We also have instances whereby price can also, let's say we have just a single point. And this can also be a kind of resistance that price will just go back there a second time and um, will start coming down. Okay? So in this case also, we can also classify this as a form of resistance, this single one here, as a form of resistance, meaning... We'll just be trading it upon test of it the second time also. Do you understand? But the idea is that for strong resistance zones, it should have reversed like maybe two times for us to be able to classify it as a strong resistance zone. Okay? But if you're going to just be looking at maybe a weak zone, then maybe a single point okay, can be classified as a weak zone. Alright? So now, the other thing that we'll be teaching you about support and resistance in relation to the trend. When we talk about the trend, say price was creating higher highs and higher lows. So I'll also be teaching you something here about that. Now, do you know that this is a single point here? That means price was reversing from this point and started coming down. So in that case, remember what we said a point where price is reversing from can also be called a resistance point. Now, resistance and support they don't hold, not like they will hold for the whole of the whole world, yeah, for the for the rest of the time. Okay, that means um there are some points whereby resistance will get broken and support will also get broken. You understand? It cannot hold, even though it's holding maybe third five touches and all of those things, doesn't mean that it, it cannot still break. You understand? Price can still break through a resistance zone and can also still break through a support zone. So now what we do now is that this here is a weak resistance. Okay, remember what I said? A single point here is a resistance ball, is a weak one. Now, when price breaks this kind of resistance, take note, here, yeah, it is a resistance, here. Yeah. Now, whenever price breaks through a kind of resistance, look at the price was going up, 
and price broke through that resistance. Now that resistance zone will now turn support. What do I mean by that? When price is breaking through um, this resistance that we have here, okay, immediately price breaks through this point. You know, we will be trying to sell from here. That means the resistance. We'll be trying to sell from the resistance. But when price now breaks through that resistance, okay, it's going to give us another opportunity. That's how trading can give you several opportunities in a single day. Okay, it's only a game of probability. Now, if price breaks this particular uh, resistance that we're anticipating, okay, whenever price has broken through a resistance, that zone, that resistance zone becomes a support because in this case, price is now above it. And in that case, you can see price is above it. That same zone will now come back to be turning support. You can see this same zone now coming back to turn support. So, what, how do we create this in this case? This is resistance zone. That has been broken will now turn resistance, meaning we will be trading a buy from this zone now because the resistance here has turned support. And what does support do? Support bounces price up. Okay, so in this case, we'll be looking for a buy opportunity at that zone. So from here now, we'll be buying. Do you understand? We'll be buying from that um, broken resistance. So the same thing also applies for maybe price is going down. The price, maybe price is going down. Okay, this year also is a support zone. This year is a support zone as well. So if a support also gets broken, it turns resistance. So here yeah, it was a support, meaning it should push price up. The normal thing should like be that price should come to the support and go up. But in the case of my price breaks to that support, that zone of support will now come back to turn resistance okay so from here now we cannot take our trades now trust me this is one of the strategy rb uses that has made him a lot of money okay so it's a very popular strategy that you also can also learn and you'll be making money with the strategy okay so simple strategy support turning resistance you understand and when you see a, a very strong resistance zone you can trade it let me show an, an example of one here this is an example of a resistance zone here here we have price reversing at this point. You can see here. Price was reversing from this zone here. So the first time price got there, it reversed and went down. The second time also, you can see price going down again. Now the third time price came there, price went down again. So this is a, an, an example of resistance. A zone that pushes price down. So let's look for an example of a support here too. Um, we have an example of a support here too. Yeah, first touch, second touch. Meaning, if I should come to this kind of zone, you know, in the future, we could expect price to go up as well. Under example, here yeah, we have this zone here too to be a support zone. You can see here too, price was bouncing and going up, going up, going up, going up. So we can also call this a support zone. Okay. So now it's not always going to be a line. Some people tend to use lines to draw their support and resistance. I always discover that. Okay. Resistance and support are not just mere price, okay? They are like zones. So, you mark your support and resistance in that manner, okay? This is an example of one also. This is a zone price as the vast form. This is on that price coming back to that zone again. So, that zone is a very strong zone now. That If price is going back there, imagine this is a, this is one zone, Abi. Price reversed and started coming down here. Price came back to that zone, started coming down again. Now, the third time price go back there again, it started coming down again. So, you can be able to see that price has, a, has a, a very strong resistance on that line. Do you understand? So, that's how we trade the support and resistance. It's a very, very important, it's a very popular topic and a very popular strategy. That once you understand how to trade it, you can be making money from just that. And, like I said, that's one of the strategies of Abby. Okay, so... Um, that's how to trade the support and resistance, okay? Just looking at the flip zones. Now, we call these flip zones, whereby um, support turning resistance, resistance turning support, we can call them uh, flip zones, okay? Now, other ways we can actually trade this resistance now is that whenever we have a resistance, okay, whenever we have a resistance like this, like I said, resistance and support, they what? They don't hold for long. Resistance and support don't hold for long, okay? 
So whenever you have a support or a resistance zone, what you want to wait for is that you wait for price to come back to that zone for you to take your trade. You know, maybe price come back to that resistance zone for you to take your trade. And one other thing to take note of: these things are very important. Just keep note of them. Whenever a support or resistance zone has been tested many times, it becomes less strong because if it has been tested the first time, second time, the third time, you know, when prices come back the fourth time, you can expect price to break through it because it's already getting weak. So in that case, whenever you're expecting price to break through it, there are ways you can actually trade it. That means I'm expecting price to break through this resistance that we have here. How you trade is that you'll be buying at the eye. That means whenever price breaks this point here, whenever you see price going up, going up, going up, immediately it breaks this resistance. Okay, we are not going to turn buyers, we'll start buying. Okay, after buying at this point now, where would you be putting your stop loss? When you buy at this point above that resistance, your stop loss should be around here below the resistance zone because we expect price now to start going up. Okay, that's what we expect from price now. So once you're able to support a resistance or support zone, this is how you can actually trade it. One other way you can also um, wait for it to be traded is this. Now, for traders that actually enter on the breakout, we call them breakout traders. That means when price breaks out of a resistance zone. Okay, whenever price is breaking out of a resistance zone, like this one now, price breaking out of this resistance zone, traders that enter at this point okay they are called aggressive traders okay but now for other traders that are very 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 patient what they do is that whenever price breaks out of resistance remember the flip zone that we learned that a resistance here will not come back to turn support so that same zone here will not come back to turn support is that is that taking now so in that case that means you will not expect price to come back sorry you would expect price now, after it has broken out, okay, to come back to that same resistance zone. But this time around, it will not work. It will not turn support. In this case, price will turn support. So from here now, you can now confidently buy. So these ones are what we, are, what we call conservative traders. The first one that will enter on the buy, after immediately price breaks out of the resistance, the first type of traders that will enter that buy, they are called the aggressive traders. While the other ones that will wait for price to come back for a retest, okay, that means resistance not turning support. They are what we call the conservative traders, okay. So these are the different ways you can also trade the support and resistance. The same way also for the support here too. If you are having a support here also, when price breaks the support, you can actually start taking your sell. Immediately, price is breaking through the support. You can start sticking yourself. So those are called the aggressive traders. Or you can wait for price to pull back because here is a support, but immediately it gets broken. It turns resistance. So you can also wait for price to come back to that zone, that flip zone, and from there you start selling from there. Is that taking now? So that's the concept of support and resistance and how you can trade it the different ways. All right, so. We'll see you in the next session. Thank you.